The honeybee, Aphis mellifera, is one of the world's most important creatures. Responsible for the pollination of more than 70% of our food crops, this tiny insect also provides honey and other products, making apiculture, the farming of bees, a multi-billion dollar industry. In Kenya, where vast areas of forests have been depleted over the years, the bee is considered an important part of conservation efforts. As they say, a hungry community living adjacent to the forest is an enemy of conservation. They derive their firewood. They also venture into illegal activities like charcoal burning, poaching, game meat. If the adjacent community is empowered, will have promoted the non-wood forest uses, such as beekeeping, which will impact the community positively. Our water tower will then regain its lo lost glory. The total economic valuation of those water towers are so enormous, and that's, it's, it's, it's a resource that we need to protect at any cost. In this film, we see how targeted bee farming can provide alternative livelihoods and help take pressure off natural resources, helping conserve Kenya's water towers. Communities in many arid and semi-arid areas depend on livestock as their source of food and income. Their livestock is highly prone to drought, rustling and diseases. Kufuga ngombe kidogo mara mingi iko ugonjwa naitwa East Coast Fever na iko hapa Samburu. John Lestoke, a resident of Samburu, knows all too well the problems that come with livestock farming. Mara mingi wa Samburu wengi wamepoteza maisha yao kutokana na vita ya Pokot na Turkana na Oborana. Honey and bee products is big business across the world. From the production of propolis for medicinal purposes, royal jelly, wax and other products, this makes for a billion dollar industry. John and other farmers around the country are picking up apiculture as an alternative farming solution and reaping big benefits. That particular area in Samburu is called Nerogi. It's uh, part of Kirisia Hills, which is a water tower. And uh, parts of it have been very well conserved, but some of, some of it actually has been degraded. So what we did is a study. And from the results, we interacted with the community. And they are the ones who identified and prioritized that as an area that they felt we could support. After identifying apiculture as an area of interest in Samburu, Kenya Water Towers Agency partnered with the Samburu Beekeepers Cooperative Society and through capacity building, they've been able to empower the community by providing an alternative source of income. Misinga yangu, 44, kwa mwaka moja, kwa sababu siso ni Samburu ya mvua ni mbili, tukio hafes, tonapata shilingi milion moja kila mwaka. By providing beehives to the existing farmers, this helped elevate the farmers' lives a step further. This was a particular project that had been initi uh, initiated some time back. So what we're doing is only upscaling. Sometimes you, it's always good to work with people who have put in a bit of effort on their own. There's a sense, a much greater sense of appreciation. The Samburu Beekeepers Cooperative gathers refined and unrefined honey from its members, packages it, and supplies it to clientele across the country. Gas ya nyuki, ni gas ya nyuki ni kitu msuri sana. Haina karama mingi. Unaweka tu msinga yako, bora tu uende usafeji tu, angalia kama dudu kuna dudu na ingia, kama hakuna, hakuna karama mingi. Ukupuna tu asali yako, ukua na asali, kuna maka the street. Ambaye siyo kama ngombe ambaye unaveleka soko, na kwa sabi unarubisha nyumbani. When we started, there were 248 farmers. Right now, we are targeting over 1,000. Um, we've increased their capacity quite uh, significantly. Initiatives such as these are at the core of Kenya Water Towers Agency mandate. 
At the agency, you know, our mandate is to sustainably manage water towers through coordination of conservation efforts, but also looking at the socio-economic development of uh, the people who live around the water towers. Kama sisi wa Masai, wa mama awana power ni wase tu wako na se nyumbani, mbusi ni yao, ngombe ni yao, tuka shikana, tuka sema, hata sisi tufanya kasi yetu, hindi tuwashe kuangalia wase. Hata sisi tupate kitu, kama mtoto yangu anakuja bila kalamu na baba yake haiko karibu, na msaidia. Napa tukona nyuki mingi sana. Wengine inakuja inakosa maali ya kuingia. Hata kama ni miambili msinga, tungepanda kupata juu hapa tukona nyuki na asali ikona peshara hapa sana. People have seen the results. The results of course of protecting the forest because you'll get your water coming out of it because that's the main reason why we are actually conserving the water towers. And then they've also seen if you if you don't destroy your forest and you use it uh, wisely, alternatively, by making sure that uh, you harness those products which comes out of the forest, there is more to gain from it. Similarly, in other parts of the country, apiculture is also becoming an alternative wealth creation opportunity. Tulianza mwaka waelfu moja mia tisa tisaini na nane lile ambalo lituacha tu, eh, tuanzishe ni kuhifadhi mazingira. Community walikuwa over the dependence ya Shimba Hills Forest. Kitu inakosekana ni elimu manake youth hawajapatiwa ile importance of mambo ya hizi project. In Shimba Hills, such groups are currently producing an estimated 9,120 kilograms of honey per year and gross an estimated 7.7 .7 million Kenyan shillings. Mimi ni mekwa mse. Na mimi naona kijana yangu. Nataka kijana yangu awe mutalamu wa nyuki. Nataka niendele mimi sana. Nataka niwe na msinga mia. Innovative wealth creation opportunities like these go a long way towards empowering communities. The quality of honey that they're producing is extremely high, but we want to be able to get them the necessary certification so that we can even go for the export market. So for them, the sky really is the limit, and that's one of the success stories that we can talk about. We are looking forward to a possibility partnering with the county that we need to add more beehives if we get more resources, and we are appealing to those who will uh, donate the funds so that we can, we can give them more. At the same time, I am seeing a possibility then that we need to expand the factory the, where this, uh, this uh, honey is actually being processed. Because we're looking at the quantities now. Kenya Water Towers Agency is looking for investors in apiculture to empower communities living within around the water towers and thereby reduce pressure on water tower resources. <laughs>